when you got nothing but your hand out to work with, you got to do what you got to do to get, you know, where you need to go. And can't stop treatment in the middle. <laughs> no, you can't. Because, I mean, this is just serendipitous that you walk in because. My Betsy. name is Betsy. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice Betsy. to meet you, and this is Eric. We just met with another client of ours, and it was a patient here at UNC with uh, a medical crisis of dealing with transportation to and from her radiation, getting prescriptions and having necessities home, at home, such as home care products, food, and hygiene needs. Um, how do you feel? This is Tina Shaven from the Family Resource Center and the Cancer Center. Tina, you brought Hilda May to us. Why did you feel like this was a good fit? Well, they always tell us that there are angels in the right places at the right time. And I think this is a perfect example of Hildra May. Amen. <laughs> we had worked together before on a wig and some other incidentals. Not very much. You, I'll tell you, you've been fending for yourself <laughs> through some difficult times. And um, when she came in, uh, she shared with me about the next portion of her treatment and needing to make daily trips back and forth from her home, which is about an hour away. Um, she shared that she's alone doing this and yet I was amazed that she had already looked into all the possible resources that, that I was going to suggest to offer. Um, um, road to recovery which could help for a couple of days a week um, and here you all were <laughs> like magic that we were able to connect right here and now know just a week huh, before her radiation is due to start and I must say that because it I had a big sigh of relief and I know you must because I thought where else am I going to help you know find resources to do this so to have you all here and to be able to meet with us and see what is needed and to offer that immediate Oh, what a relief. Oh, what a yes, that, that is the main thing, being able to get immediate relief and to know that there's someone out here that cares and cares enough not only to say, well, um, fill out my form and come see me later, but, okay, fill out my form. I, I think I can help you right here and now today. You know, and that makes the world of difference, knowing that today there's help. You know, and I don't have to wait until tomorrow and see if maybe, but today, right now, there is help. And I thank God for that.